Hi, this is Kathleen with the San Diego Artisan Bread School. Today we're going to demonstrate the fold or the business letter fold. You fold dough generally when the dough is sitting for a long period of time. Sourdough is a, is a real good example of that. Some yeasted breads that sit for a long time, like a, a long fermentation baguette, you will fold also, or ciabatta, you can also fold. The reason you do a fold, I'll show you the, the dough, it's become quite slack. The fold builds structure into your dough. It, you will equalize the temperature. Oftentimes it's cooler or warmer on the outside, depending on your room. You are gonna expel the, a lot of the CO2, which is a byproduct of the yeast, so it can take in a lot of oxygen. And the reason you're gonna do this is it also saves some of the air bubbles that are being created from the yeast, and that will result in a loftier, higher bread with more holes. Generally, if you want a bread like a sandwich bread, you're not gonna be folding it. But if you want bigger holes, you will fold your bread. So I do my folds on a cookie sheet. It keeps the mess kind of contained. A little bit of oil on the cookie sheet. I'm using canola oil, but you can use any, any light oil you want. I'm gonna take out my dough. I'm gonna stretch it out. Right now there's not a lot of air being generated. This is our first fold with the dough. We're gonna, we fold sourdough generally three, or three to four times. I'm gonna take the first corner, fold it over one third of the way, second end, one third of the way over, okay, like a business letter. Then I'm gonna take this end, and I'm gonna fold it up. I'm gonna take this end, okay, and then you put it seam side down, give it a little love pat, back in your rising container, and we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes before we do our next fold. There's a lot of different theories with sourdough on when to do your folds and how long to let them rise and all kinds of things like that. The latest theories are do your folds in the first two hours and then that gives the, the dough time to develop those big holes in the, for the rest of the... Um, but you can look at my gluten. Look at this. This is fabulous. So my gluten's developing nicely. So now when it gets those big holes, I'm going to be very gentle with it. Um, but right now they're not quite there. Hold it over, hold it over, and there we are. Look at this growth on that, the strength of that loaf. Mm -hmm.